I broke my neck. I was dropped on my head by a stunt person <sighs> and uh, it sucked. But fortunately, like, I'm walking and I was able to yeah. return to the ring and it could have been um, a lot worse. But I always say that that moment I had before what I had was like, I said that, that killed my invincibility. And then when that happened, I was like, whoa, like, yeah. sometimes you get smacked in the face, <laughs> you know? It was really limited in my physical activity and I felt so useless yeah. to me and people around me. I had a hard collar on for four months, I couldn't yeah. drive, I, you know, it was just really, it, I was spinning out, you know, I just was really depressed and, yeah. and, and so I just, uh, I gave myself hours at the community, the animal control. Yeah. So, because I was like, if I didn't have somewhere to be, I was just gonna lay around all day or, you know, while my physical activity was limited, I, st I still, there was stuff I could do. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't doing that because I, I yeah. was depressed. So I gave myself hours there and I would just go clean cages. And, and, and so it was therapeutic to me. Yeah. And uh, I, I remember there, my friends were joking, uh, my friends who became my friends yeah. working at the shelter there, they're like, you, you'd have to get like waist deep into the kennel <laughs> because I could have had to like bend uh. like this because of my, my like hard collar. Yeah. Um, but just having, having a job and feeling useful and like helping those, those animals there made like, helped me out of my depression.